episode. Welcome back. I don't know why you're here, and uh, I don't really know why I'm here beyond the fact that a long time ago two people had a very irresponsible night, and I'm paying for it for the rest of my life. Yeah, as we all are. So, back with Duel Links, back with Supreme King Jaden, who, uh, again, I didn't really see the entire season where he was involved, so forgive me, I'm kind of a dumbass. I need to watch that problem. So we're going to just uh, go with him, the second deck I have for him, the Wars of the Dark, to finish out the GEX world. And then next stop will be 5Ds, so that'll be interesting. At least I've gotten much better at Synchro Summons, so yeah. Shouldn't be too embarrassing. Okay, so I actually prefer this deck a lot more than the other one, I'm going to be honest. And as you can see, it does have a little bit of everything here. As with the previous deck, it also uses the Malicious Hero. So, let's see. I don't think I actually have that in here. I guess they changed some things around. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll run through around and see what happens. Just because I'm curious if they actually change that now. Because it used to just be that this stuff was included in there. Okay, yeah, you don't need Supreme King's Castle to... That's only for the extra effects, okay. Alright, so this deck, of course, dark, a lot of fiends, dark warriors, you know, kind of part of the course with me. So we start with the Chaos Hunter, who is honestly one of my favorites. She is freaking gorgeous. And honestly, it looks like she could be in Castlevania. We also, of course, have Luna, the Dark Spirit. Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord. The Doom Caliber Knight. Invader of Darkness, who is another of my favorites. Total Defense Shogun, who, I'll be 100% honest with you, is mostly here because of his defense and his abilities. We also have the Dark General Freed. Sorry, coffee's wearing off. The Vampire Hunter, who, again, hello, Belmont. <laughs> I swear. I'm Belmont. Hey, Belmont. Let's go. Dark Valkyria. Skullmeister. Dark Crusader, who deadass looks like Ganondorf. Gandaddy. Ten Mata. I forget. I can't pronounce this to save my life, but it's basically this knight on a whore, on a Pegasus. Uh, the Infernal General Getsu Fuma, who uh, I actually really like the way this card is designed out. Uh, Dark Blade Champion of the Evil World. I really gotta figure out what that dragon is behind him, to be honest. Skate Ghost. Because, I mean, this is freaking cute. And it's a relatively easy tuner. Battle Keg Hydride. Dark Blade. Dark World Lightning. Dark Core. Mystic Plasma Zone, which is honestly the best if you're doing darks that aren't just spellcasters, because, I mean, you know, we can butcher some things sometimes. Sword of Dark Rites, which is uh, mostly here for its effects, but also because I think it looks cool as hell, so. Uh, dark Mumbel, I think. What is that, anyway? 
two powers of the Guardians. The first Monarch, who's really here for that glorious defense. Feel Successor, Wall of Disruption, The Golden Apples, The Dark Illusion, who, uh, I'll be honest, it's very rare I actually use this card, but it's also handy to have it just a trap, have a counter trap in just in case, so. Of course, down below here we have Less in the Way of Fusions, because the fusion is supposed to be the malicious hero, and more. Underworld fighter Balmung. I've actually called him Balrog before. Thought ruler Archfiend. Archfiend's Call, which is freaking cool as hell. I love this. Archfiend's Ascent. Evil Swarm Ouroboros. And Evil Swarm Than Thanatos, which... Yes, this gave me more of an excuse to, in a setting I was familiar with, practice with Synchro and XYZ Summon. That's the main, one of the main things, but yeah. So, let's see what we got. Uh, I guess we'll go with you, kiddo. Vicky. Ah, oh, Silent Magician. Okay. Now this is probably not gonna go well, but, you know, whatever. Let's do it. Okay. All right, not a bad hand to start with. Not bad. Dark Blade, Dark Crusader. Okay. So we'll go with Blade. Uh, I'll put Dark Illusion here in the middle and the first Monarch off to the side because if they're going to destroy one of my cards, I'd really prefer it if it's Dark Illusion, to be honest. It can be a sacrifice card. Yeah, sure. At the very least, I'm gonna make damn sure you're not getting near me, baby. Mm. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Um, Earth. Oh, <laughs> that worked out for me. Well, hello. <laughs> Elemental Hero, Malicious Edge. Alright, so that was a sacrifice I didn't want to have to make, but it's a sacrifice I've had to make. Alright, so just keep going, just keep, just keep punching things with our Wolverine Claws. I don't know, I feel like he deserves a thing of his own. Uh, let's see. That. And. Oh, right. They're earth monsters. Oopsie daisies. So, punch. And punch. I love piercing damage when it's not me on the receiving end. Just. 
Okay. So put skill successor down here just to be safe. And hit. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. All right, let's see. Okay, so that was one. What was that two? No, that was two. Was it? No, that was one. Right? Okay. No, that was one, yeah. Okay, so... I kind of find it interesting that, a, I mean, I kind of like Supreme King's design from a graphical standpoint, even though there are some things regarding said design that don't make a lot of sense to me. I, um, well, the pauldrons don't really make a lot of sense to me per, on a personal level or the giant collar, but I get it from, at least not from a practical standpoint, but the design is freaking amazing from an artist standpoint. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, freaking great. I don't have a level seven. So, what the frick am I doing? Do I have a nine? No. You're an eight. No, I have your existence. Okay, so use this. Sacrifice, sacrifice. And uh, what? Oh, okay. Hmm. I forgot that. Wait. Wait. Okay, I think I see what ha Oh, right, that happened. That's a thing. No, I think I got confused and it switched his attack- used his attack for the- attack, rather than- huh. Oh, right, because that's only with the heavy, strong things. I got confused. Alright, no problem. I I'll take the L. I'll take that L. I mean- Oh, uh, sure. We'll finish out with mess condescending. Why not? Probably could have not botched that as bad as I did if I'd actually used my head, you know, for something other than to grow hair on. But yeah. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Ah. Uh, 
Of course I'm going to be first. That sucks. Okay. Will I botch this? Hmm. I mean, this is actually more or less cards going crazy, but yeah, let's see. Hmm. You know what, just for fun, we're going to do one more because I, honest to God, if I hadn't botched, because, I mean, <sighs> I'm just going to do one more just because that was horribly botched. I mean, if I'll take an L if it comes down to it, but just really that one where I, because I just did, misread things and got confused. At the very least, I need one re attempt at redemption. But if I get an L with this one, that's it. I mean, I'll take it. Okay. My brain just isn't in things today. Five. Six. You're the problem. You're the one I got confused by. Okay. Is there about to be a hamburger? Nope. Ugh. Now, wait, this could actually work in my favor, because the hamburger is a dark monster, right? I think so. Okay, cash money. Is there a ritual weapon? Place your bets now. Is there a ritual weapon in that hand? Yes, there is. That's always how it goes with this. There will always be a ritual weapon. I'm just going to put this face down. Oh, this is about to suck. Okay, how am I not dead? <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. Just please. Hmm. You know, this might be the ultimate strategy of dealing with this thing. Okay, put you face down here. I mean, the vampire hunter's not really doing anything, but, uh...
Yeah, we're going to just get rid of you so I don't get confused again. And is it him? No, it's this. First things first. Let's see. Do I want to go for style points? Yeah, let's go with the style points. So. You know what? No, yeah, we'll go with this. Thanatos. Okay, now, the messages that count, probably not, but, I mean, I needed a little bit of a redemption here. <laughs> so, on that note, I'm going to knock off here. If you'd all do the holy trifecta of YouTube down below, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time, alright? See ya.